Hi there, this is a special one today. It's Wednesday, so we're gonna do something a little different today. This is the InMotion 11. This is my cameraman, Jamie, and this new unit is something he just picked up a couple of days ago, and I thought what I'd do is, we're gonna go for a ride around Victoria, but before we do that, let me just ask you, how do you like it? Um, honestly, after about 60 kilometers on it, I think this thing is sweet. Totally new stride in the kind of PEV realm with an EUC here and um, I'm excited to ride around today and test it out even further. How hard was it to actually get started with it? Um, I think it was a bit of a quick learner so within about an hour and a half I could ride kind of slowly in a straight line by myself. First little bit I just had to hold onto someone's shoulder and then after about three four hours I could ride pretty comfortably on most types of terrain and kind of rip it around go at decent speeds and carve pretty well so perfect well yeah. let's just get started we'll go for a rip around victoria and we'll stop and i'll probably ask you a bunch more questions sweet let's do it all right jamie so we were just riding around noticing you hitting all these bumps what's mm -hmm. it like on the bumps the suspension is pretty sweet i think there's around 70 millimeters of travel and if i step on it here you can really see it and um, it's air suspension so two valves on the bottom and two valves at the top um, that you can adjust and make it faster or slower depending on if you're doing off-road and you want it slower to really absorb it or you're doing some high-speed cruising and you want it faster so that you can keep the most stability but yeah the suspension is definitely a must it's pretty sweet on this thing so one more thing before we take off again you're wearing it looks like knee pads shin pads anything else you got the big helmet yeah typically i got full face helmet what about uh, the hands anything special knee pads, yeah i got wrist guards and then i have gloves on top uh just for kind of warmth and then typically i'm not wearing them right now but i have elbow pads that just slide underneath my my jacket here so i think it's definitely smart when you're riding things like this to wear a lot of protection in case you do go down for a fall, your wrist will be protected, your elbow if you take a fall on the side, and your knees especially, because if you fall forward, you're gonna smack right down on them. So yeah, let's keep going. All righty, what's on here? This is the InMotion app. Yeah, so up top, you're gonna have your current speed, your riding from the last time you turned it on, uh, your total mileage, and then up top there, it's gonna show your battery percent and how much remaining mileage at the average speed you're going there's a whole settings queue where you can change your speed limit your different ride modes pedal hardness you can turn it up to go to even higher top speed different balance angles if you want to do your exact speed and braking how loud you want the thing when it beeps at you and how easy was it to learn whatever you turn on you just open your phone it automatically connects within a few seconds and Everything's pretty detailed and shows you exactly what you need to know, so it's no problem. Cheers. All right, Jamie, so you've been bouncing around over this little park here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take it through Beacon Hill Park next, next and uh, do some trail riding on it, but just uh, share with us now, what's it like? Like going through the grass, going over the bumps, going up and down yeah. steep hills? So I think typically with an EUC with no suspension, you really have to brace your knees a lot more, but with this one, with the suspension, it just compresses every time you go over a little bump. And I feel like you have a lot more control if you combine it with like bracing your knees so that you can really support yourself. I even like went off a little curve. We'll show a clip of that. And if you just bend your knees and let the suspension also take care of the rest, it's so smooth and you just feel like you're on pavement. All right, Jamie, let's go. Let's go along a little trail here, a little wooden trail. donuts show how tight the turns can be still not scraping the pedals how much are you loving this thing uh this thing's amazing yeah couldn't, couldn't is this gonna happier. is yeah. this gonna impact our filming like are you gonna be able to use this for flying around with the gopro following up sure. on e-bikes other micro mobilities yeah this versus the lawn board means i get to go on all the off-road trails when we review bikes and scooters and um pretty much anything this thing throws at throw you throw at it stairs curbs it can kind of handle it all 
Well, thank you so much for taking us around uh, Victoria with it. No I was noticing you were having no problems on the trails, like none. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And and this is what, like your third day with it? Fourth yeah, day? Yeah, like 65 kilometers in, <laughs> four hours probably. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Well, Jamie, I'm really excited. And I know if you're excited for Jamie, if you'd like to see more content that Jamie is possibly going to be making in the near future with the InMotion V11, let us know. What would you like to see? How would you like to see it done? And... Uh, yeah, put your questions down below. I'm sure Jamie will be able to answer them. Oh, yeah, I'd be happy to do it.